to body. Zayed bin Haritha ordered Kays to kill Um, and he killed her cruelly. He tied each of her legs with a rope and tied the ropes to two camels, and they split her in two. Then they brought Um's daughter and Abdallah to the messenger. Um's daughter belonged to Salama, who had captured her. Muhammad asked Salama for her, and Salama gave her to him. This is tragic to the point of agony. Yet the first Muslims enjoyed this story so much, they wanted to share another hadith. Let's pray that this one is less sadistic. Tabati, the messenger appointed Abu Bakr as our commander, and we raided some of the Banu Fazra. When we came near the watering place, Bakr ordered us to rest. After we prayed the dawn prayer, Bakr ordered us to launch the raid against them. We went down to the watering hole, and there we killed some people. I saw women and children among them, who had almost outstripped us, so I sent an arrow between them and the mountain. When they saw the arrow, they stopped, and I led them back to Abu Bakr. Among them was a woman of the Banu Fazra. She was wearing a worn-out piece of leather. With her was her daughter, among the fairest of the Arabs. Abu Bakr gave me her daughter as booty. Remember, this was Um's daughter, a woman whom the Muslims had brutally tortured and mutilated. Tabari, when I returned to Medina, the prophet met me in the market and said, Salama, how excellent the father who begot you! Give me the woman! I said, Holy Prophet of Allah, I like her, and I have not uncovered her garment. Muhammad said nothing to me until the next day. He again met me in the market and said, Salama, give me the woman. I said, Prophet, I have not uncovered her garment, but she is yours. Muhammad sent her to Mecca, and with her he ransomed some of the Muslim captives who were in the hands of the Quraysh. The first Muslims had terrorized her town. Her property was stolen, her people were killed, her mother was mutilated, and now she was being traded like she were a piece of meat by the regime's founder and prophet. Tabari, in this year a raiding party led by Coors set out against the members of the Banu Arena with twenty horsemen. I wonder if there were any village within reach of Mohammed's Muslim militants that they did not plunder. We close out the violent sixth year of the Islamic era with some extraordinarily delusional diplomacy. Tabari, between the truce of Hudubaya and his death, the messenger dispersed some of his companions to the kings of the Arabs and the foreigners to call them to Allah. He sent a letter to Ibn Shihab. The letter stated, I have been sent as a mercy and for all. Therefore convey the message from me, and Allah shall have mercy on you. Do not become disobedient to me as the disciples became disobedient to Jesus. He called them to the like of what I called to you. Those whom he sent close by were pleased and accepted. Those whom he sent far off were refused. Jesus complained of their behavior to Allah, and when they awoke the next morning, each could speak the language of the people to whom he had been sent. Then Jesus said, This is an affair that Allah has determined for you, so go forth. Muhammad has so utterly disgraced himself. There is little he can do or say that gets my goat. But calling Yahweh Allah and putting foolish words into the Messiah's mouth is something I cannot let slide without comment. The disciples who experienced Yeshua's resurrection were as true to their calling as any men have ever been. They had no language barrier. Unlike Muhammad, they were literate. They read, wrote, and spoke the dominant and enlightened languages of their day, Greek and Aramaic. They were not called to deceit, to plunder, or to terror. They were called to demonstrate sacrificial love. And Yeshua never complained about them to Yahweh. Instead, He gave them His Spirit, the set-apart spirit, to comfort, teach, and empower them, making them the most influential men who ever lived. Now that I have that off my chest, 
let's return to the perverse story of Islam. Tabari. The messenger sent Hatib to the Mukawis, the ruler of Alexandria. Hatib delivered the letter of the prophet, and the Mukawis gave Allah's apostle four slave girls. The messenger sent Dia to Caesar, who was Heraclius, the king of the Romans. When Dia brought him the letter, he looked into it and then placed it between his thighs and his flanks. There were no Caesars in the 7th century. The Romans were Byzantines. Prophets don't take slave girls. I'm surprised these fools managed to fool so many fools. They didn't get anything right. So, back in Mecca. Tabari. Abu Sufyan said, We were merchants, but the fighting between us and Muhammad has prevented us from journeying, so our wealth is depleted. This is the express purpose of terrorism. Even after the truce with the Muslims, we fear that we still are not safe. Muslims had continued to plunder Meccan caravans in direct violation of the Treaty of Hudabayah, now twenty different times. Nevertheless, I shall set out with a group of merchants for Gaza. Abu Sufyan said, We arrived at the time of Heraclius's victory over the Persians who were in his land. He expelled them and regained his great cross, which they had carried off. Having accomplished this and having received the word that his cross had been rescued, he set out on foot to pray in Jerusalem. Carpets were spread before him, and fragrant herbs were strewn in his path. When Heraclius arrived in Jerusalem, he performed his worship. Heraclius and the Byzantines did attack the Persians in 627, but near Nineveh in today's Iraq, not Gaza or in Byzantine territory. There was no great cross to be claimed. Further, the road from Constantinople to Jerusalem was not restored until 630. I share these historical facts so that you might recognize the fictitious nature of Islam. Since the story was not true, there must have been an ulterior motive for sending the pagan Karish leader on this mission. And so there was. In a long tradition with a distinguished Isnad, we find fanciful stories proclaiming Muhammad's importance. While fictitious, they are entertaining.